Hi, I'm Sam from Red Ferret and before we start this video I want to ask you to subscribe down below and click that bell button to stay updated on our latest, greatest, most awesome content on the space of YouTube. Let's get cracking with the video. So if you're a bit into the video or photography space then you probably have an SD card, micro SD card, but you don't have a PC that can read it because it doesn't have an input for it. So you need to buy a dongle of some sort to read the micro SD card or the, the SD card and it's a bit of a hassle. So um, yeah, what if I would tell you that I have a USB 3.0 memory card reader writer for SD and micro SD cards. So it's USB-C and USB-A. So this is the StarTech.com hard to find made easy uh, thing. Right, so uh, there's not much in this box. Some kind of manual which I am definitely not going to read. And then we have the stick itself. So this is what I mean by good products. You have the USB-C over here and the regular USB 3.0 over here. So for example, this cool, fine MacBook Pro that I dropped on the side over here, yeah, costs around $2,000, but it only has four USB-C inputs. Very nice, Apple, thank you. So I can't plug this in, but I can plug this in, which is pretty cool. And then on the device itself, there is of course a micro SD input and a regular SD input. So let's see if it actually works. Because otherwise, if I want to upload my videos to my Mac, then I have to take my complete dongle with me, big fat dongle. Then I have to put it in. I have to put in my micro SD card. I have to put in USB over there, over there, over there, over there. Over there. This is way smaller and way easier in my opinion. So let's see if it works. So as you can see, there is now a, a micro SD and a regular SD card plugged in this device. So let's plug it into my Mac and see if that works. It should appear somewhere over, oh yeah, over there. So that's one, so that's the um, SD card, I think. Yeah, that's the regular SD card that just popped up. So no micro SD card yet. I don't know, maybe I put it in the wrong way. So it looks like only the regular SD card is working when they're both plugged in. So I'm going to um, do this again and just plug in the micro SD card. There's always problems with my Mac. Plugging in SD cards, dongles, always, every time. This is a computer for, uh, you can see again, I, I'm not even doing anything with the card and it's already saying that it's been used by another program, so that's bullshit. If I go to work, I want to plug in my 4K monitor via USB-C and my other screen via HDMI. Well, uh, it's uh, I'll, I'll have to go 10 minutes early to get it to work before I have to start working. So, yeah, it's a big hassle. Oh, yeah, now it popped up. So that works. That's good. It's good. So let's put the micro, the regular... SD card in there as well now. Let's see if it pops up now. Maybe it's only intended to use one input. I don't know. Yeah, looks like both at the same time don't work. That's a bit bit stupid in my opinion, but hey, um, only the first one you plug in works on my Mac at least. So. As you can see, it's it's the size of a regular USB stick. It's very small and you can just plug it into your Mac and you have access to your micro SD card or regular SD card, which is not possible right now because I don't have an input, as you can see. So yeah, this is around 20 to $15, depending on where you buy it. So it's actually pretty cheap for what it does. Uh, some dongles cost around $50, of course you can plug in USB and, and all that then with those dongles. But this is very portable, very handy. I'm not going to say it's durable because it's really plastic. So don't throw it around. I don't think it will last that long if you throw it around or if you drop it or something. But yeah, overall for the price and if you're a um, bit of a computer guy with a lot of videos and photos and... You don't need an external hard drive, for example, then this is pretty cool. Uh, this is a pretty nice device to take with you uh, for on the go. Um, it's easy to carry around and uh, it won't take up a lot of space or weight. All right, I would say if you have any questions regarding this little thing, let them know in the comment section down below and I'll be very, very glad to help you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below. If you didn't, leave a dislike and tell us why. Please tell us why. 
So we got a brief videos, and I hope I see you, yes, you who's watching this behind your phone or behind your computer screen. I don't know. In the next video. Bye bye.